हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पोएम चर्च गोइंग इट इज़ अ मॉडर्न पोएम कंपोज बाय फिलिप ऑर्थर लार्किन एंड एंड अनदर क्वेश्चन मे बी एज अ पोएट फिलिप ऑर्थर लार्किन एज अ पोएट और क्रिटिकल एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ चर्च गोइंग सो वी शेल लुक एट ऑल दी हैडिंग्स वन बाय वन The very first heading you may have Philip Larkin as a pessimistic poet. Philip Larkin has been considered as one of the most pessimistic poets in English literature. But uh, there is also a note of affirmation also in a number of Larkin's poems. We also find the same happens in church going also. We also find uh, optimistic suggestions. This poem also starts from pessimism but it ends in optimism means philip larkin starts this modern poem with his pessimistic point of view but when he ends there we find a hopefulness we find an optimism so the second point is a sad note church going okay we have to focus only on this poem and there is a sad note how when this poem is started by philip larkin sad note this poem church going it begins with a sad note while entering the church uh, larkin feels that there is no activity in the church the doors of the church sound dull when they strike to each other so the description of the church is always full of this sad note and uh, what kind of description of the church he gives that is very his minutely observation which we find in the description of the church for example when he tells us that uh, the doors of the church uh, sound dull when they strike to each other there were seats mattings and stones in the church and uh, he describes in detail the wild plants uh, are growing and flowers are appearing ungraceful brass uh, wares have become brownish and they have lost their shining and their brightness or so splendor and even the musical organs were also described very well kept in the church and uh, they have become obsolete the the poet he moves inside the church without uh, hat and taking off his cycle clips in ungraceful manner so when he enters the church what we finds that he takes his cycle clips but in an ungraceful manner it seems that he has less respect or no respect towards the church so when he enters the church fourth point may be our entering the church after entering the church larkin rests his hand on the font for pure water for holy water o oh, holy holy fountain means the water was coming from the fountain and that was supposed to be holy water in the church from there he looks up on the roof which appears new and he thinks whether it was renovated or oh, it means the roof of the church seemed very new to the poet so entering the church what he finds means he looks around him standing on the reading desk he reads the bible in respectful manner with a speed and that also seemed that he has less respect and while going back he signs the register or he signs the book also and he donates an irish sixpence to so that was the description of the church and entering the church now next heading is future of the churches philip larkin thinks over the future the coming days of the churches and he gets somewhat serious here in his opinion one day these churches would fall down and become completely out of use they would lose their utility with the passage of time and with the passage of time what will happen that there will be no utility of the church for the next coming generation he thinks that uh, the people they will they will not be interested in these churches uh, and they would be reluctant 
towards them in future because he is thinking this time looking at the scene of the church looking all the things of the church he is thinking of the future and the coming generation or the next generation or in future what will be that people would avoid them completely because they will find them they will think of them as unlucky places and there will be only superstitious belief right uh, this will be your next heading only some old what he says that only some old superstitious women because people will give up to attend the churches in future so what will happen there that only only few old ladies and they will be completely superstitious so superstitious women they would come and when only at night in the church for what they will come there to make their children touch a particular stone means only particular people will come to the church on particular occasion for particular purpose so that will be the condition of church larkin wishes that the superstitious beliefs must die and the people should progress he is very surprised to think that who would be the last to see the holy place of worship then there comes a question in his mind and he starts to think of that this question arises in his mind that for whom for what these special shells shells these special churches are built so the last one that is seventh one when we find that church are serious house philip larkin he seriously tells that a church is a serious house serious house on this serious earth and he is of this view that certain things about the church can never become outdated can never become obsolete can never become useless and he is very sure that uh, and maybe an archaeologist maybe a student of research work or a visitor will come and he will be very intelligent to draw the seriousness of this place and he will think he will think from the contemplation of the graves in churchyard and from his reflection of the fact of death that will be possible only by the student of a or maybe a research scholar so we find that this poem ends only in optimism it is started in pessimism but it ended in optimism so irony in the poem there is an irony in this poem philip larkin he has employed very well and that is also a main literary device of philip larkin he always used irony in his poem church going he uses the same device in this poem also church going and he seems to mock he seems to make a fun he seems to laugh at an established old institution church that is a serious house even though this poem is a serious one and it ends with a serious note it has a very deep significance a very deep meaning and but but in spite of that there is also an irony behind the very title of this poem church going he speaks ironically about his respect for the church when he says that he went to the church without a hat on his head and he takes off his cycle clips before entering the church so we found that uh, he was not serious at the time of going there and uh, he speaks uh, ironically when he tells that he signed in the end of the poem we come to know that he also signed the book and he donated a uh, few few pences to and uh, no doubt that this poem church going is uh, it is full of irony and uh, that is the most most important feature of this poem irony so come to the ninth one atmosphere of the poem atmosphere of the poem no doubt that uh, the atmosphere of the poem is uh, gloomy it is uh, full of sadness because uh, because larkin expresses his view that the time will come when people will stop going to church and uh, 
he is he gets very serious thinking of the coming days of church and uh, it seems that uh, only only a particular because it is a very serious poem that only a particular section of the people will go for a particular purpose to only the particular churches those churches which will be very famous at that time because most of the churches will be uh, will be either demolished or will be destroyed so no doubt that uh, this church going this poem is a very serious poem post war description your next point post war description after the world war second this poem is supposed to compose after post war description because there was a rapid decline in the attendance at church people were not interested in the church they had given up to attend it so this is why that here philip larkin is telling us about the coming days about the future of the churches about those people who will never have interest or they will not be concerned with the activity with the movement of the church inside theme of christianity because uh, the, some critics regard that this poem is a religious poem it is a serious poem and the main theme of this poem is as the title also suggests church going christianity so all these were important points to be written whether philip larkin as a poet or critical appreciation of church going